Stephanie from Rapid Resizer. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a scientific illustration type style painting or poster. Um, I was recently inspired by a nice botanical print that I saw and I thought that Rapid Resizer would be the perfect tool to make something like that. So I'm going to be painting with watercolors and I'm going to be turning my design into a line drawing and tracing it and using um, just the stencil or the outline of my images and then painting in the rest. So I'm going to start by clicking on draw design. I'm just on the main Rapid Resizer website right now and I'm going to start a new design and I'm going to, I've turned my grid on and you can do that by clicking on the background grid right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and import my design. So I've found three different types of trout, whoopsies, and I'm going to upload each one. And Rapid Resizer is based out of Collingwood, Ontario, Canada, and we have a lot of different types of trout in the area, so I thought it would be appropriate to do something that's kind of native to where I live, and if there's any fishermen or fisherwomen out there, I'm sure you'll appreciate this also. So I'm just uploading my three different kinds of trout that I found and you can do however many you want or you could do flowers or really whatever you want for this oops okay so I have my three fish here um, I'm not sure which ones are bigger than others, but I think this one is a lake trout, so it should be a little bit bigger. Okay, so here are my three fish, and now I'm going to add text, and I kind of want this to look kind of like those scientific illustrations you'd see in a textbook or something, so I'm going to choose a font that's kind of similar to those. So I'm going to add this to my design and I'm going to make it a little bigger. Okay, so this looks good. I'm using the grid here. It's helpful if you want to kind of center everything. Okay, so I'll show you guys why I didn't just upload each one of these in the picture stencil maker. I'm just doing it all on the draw tool. So I'm going to go ahead and print, but before I print, I'm going to show you guys how to turn photos into a line drawing. So here's my design. This is hopefully what my poster is going to look like once I've painted it, but I just want the outline so I can trace. So I'm clicking on the save ink button and I'm going to click to line drawing. This is another option if you don't want to use the picture stencil maker. You can always use this and for this type of project where I have uploaded multiple designs into one, it's helpful to just do it this way. So I'm just going to drag this to make it a little bit lighter because again I just want to use the outline and get the basic shapes in here. So. I'm going to go with that and okay so this is my little poster that I've made and I want it to be 15 inches wide so it's already set to that and I'm going to go ahead and print this and then I'm going to be using a uh, transfer method that I've used previously and that's just using a window and light. If you don't have a light box for tracing, this is a really good easy one to do. So I'm going to go ahead and print and then get started. 
Okay, so I've printed my design and I've taped it to my large piece of watercolor paper and I'm taping it onto the window and I'm just going to go ahead and trace my design. Again, it doesn't have to be a lot of detail, you just want to make sure you get all of the basic shapes covered. So now that I've traced my design, it's just very lightly traced in pencil. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in with some watercolor. So if you guys aren't familiar with watercolor painting, um, don't be intimidated. It's one of the easier ways to paint in my opinion. Um, and it's pretty easy to find the materials and it doesn't make a huge mess. So I like to use watercolors a lot. Um, so what you're going to want to do is just start by layering on your colors. So you don't want to go in with the dark colors first. I like to just start and get the basic colors down in each area that you see and kind of build layers of color on top. So just starting with nice watered down colors. Um, I like to just mix as I go and just start filling in the basic shapes. And then you'll start to see your painting start to take form. Um, you can just add in the details as you go and just have fun with it. I'm looking at a photo of these fish that I'm drawing um, as a guide, of course, because I have no idea what fish look like without looking at a photo. So this is why using Rapid Resizer for projects like this is so helpful because it's so easy to just get that basic shape and once you have it, you can make these really beautiful paintings that look really professionally done and again I'm not an expert um, if you, you're new to painting just give it a try you will, might surprise yourself at the, all the beautiful stuff that you can make you paint so I've painted in all my fish and then at the end um, for white some of my fish have white specks on them um, if you want to use acrylic paint or a thicker paint for that you could I just used really really thick almost gummy white watercolor paint and I just dotted it on at the end with a really really small fine uh, paintbrush so this is my little scientific illustration watercolor painting poster that I made using Rapid Resizer as a template. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this craft. It's really fun. You can kind of use whatever subject matter you want or add as many or as little um, specimens or objects as you want and kind of place them however you want. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and want to give it a try. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel um, if you like seeing these craft tutorials. Um, if you have any suggestions for crafts you, that you'd like to see me make or try and teach you guys, um, please comment below. Again, if you guys have any questions, also comment and don't hesitate to click on the help button on our webpage if you have any questions to do with uh, the software. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and have an awesome day.